Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert. Furry hamburger or plastic hockey puck? Which one's better? Let's find out. Oh, look at that, it's a hamburger. Oh, look at me, I'm furry, so I must be futuristic. <laughs> Away with you. Oh, look at that. It's an Echo Dot, which looks completely different. It's a lot thicker than the original Echo Dot. Let me fetch the original Echo Dot so I can show you. Yeah. There you go. It's also a lot wider. It's, it's a lot more everything, and that's probably why it supposedly has a better speaker. We're going to find out how good the speaker is, because I'm going to compare the two. That is really nice. I have to admit, I really, really like this crocheted look like Grandma made it. It makes me feel safe. <laughs> okay, what we got? No, no, no. Power supply, empty box. Let's go plug it in. Steve wants to know an uncomfortable truth about the future of Amazon. Of course you don't. Nobody does. <laughs> but you're going to hear it anyway. New Echo Dot. Old Echo Dot. That's interesting, isn't it? This is the future of Amazon, ladies and gentlemen. Proprietary stuff that you have to buy from them because no one else will sell it to you. Not good, not good. I don't like it. I'm gonna plug it in and we're gonna see what it does. Oh, hello, blue light. Familiar and safe. Familiar and safe. Make noises now. Hello. Hello. Continue. Download the Alexa app. Okay, I'll do that. What? <laughs> Why are you German now? <laughs> now you're French! Flipping heck, she never used to do that. Shut up now. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to open up my Alexa app and, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. So I'm going to say, if you're a first-time user, you wouldn't know what to do at this point. That sucks a little bit. You need to go to the Devices section and then press this plus button, I think, uh, and then say Add Device. I'm going to add an Amazon Echo Dot as a third generation. That was easy. Continue. And we're getting more warm sounds. Listen. The speaker already sounds amazing compared to this little lady. This little lady sounds ugly now compared to this. Cool, so it's asking me if I want to use the Echo built-in speaker or connect it to Bluetooth or stick an aux cable in. We're going to use the Echo built-in speaker because I want to know how it sounds all by itself with no help. I'm going to say master bedroom because it makes me sound like a big boy. I'm the master. <laughs> Continue. Okay. Well, uh, let's put her through her paces. In case you didn't know, this is a computer. It's just a very round looking computer. Uh, the basic idea is that it connects to the internet just like a computer does, and it does computations. The question is, is this a faster computer than this? Let's find out. This is a slightly imperfect test, but I'm going to race them to see which one has more power. Uh, I'll try and plug them in at the same time. Man, that's slow. You both suck. Alexa. Uh-oh. The old Echo Dot boots faster than the new Echo Dot. Why would that be? Sorry, I don't know that. No, I bet you don't. You won't have been told. <laughs> uh, let's see if they respond at the same rate. Alexa. <gasps> you won. Six microphones. Four microphones. Really, Amazon? Less microphones? Really? Sometimes less is more, so I'm going to do two tests. First of all, I'm going to go to the opposite side of the room. I'm going to whisper Alexa and see who answers quickest. Uh, the next test I'm going to do is I'm going to blare really annoying loud music right next to both speakers, and then I'm going to yell Alexa from the opposite side of the room and see which one responds best under duress. Not address, under duress. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's not good, is it? I'm not gonna lie, there isn't much in that at all, but there is something there. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna make a difference in your everyday life, but that's interesting, isn't it? Well, let's try it with some music blaring. 
So, YouTube employees, if I've been flagged for copyright, this is me. I am the copyright holder. Don't panic. Alexa. 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 Cancel. Alexa. And that, ladies and gentlemen, evidences that there is a huge improvement here when it comes to sound being in the way of your voice. So that actually is seriously important and a huge consideration. If you're thinking about upgrading from this to this because your kids are flipping noisy, it might actually be worth it. Speaker quality! This is a bone of contention for me, and you can watch me ranting about it here in this video in which I will overreact uh, and get very grumpy about how the smart home market ruined music. Um, I feel like these things are not the best speakers in the world regardless, but this one will get you laughed at by your friends a whole lot less than this one will. This thing sounds like a tin can, and it's quite quiet. This thing sounds a lot less like a tin can, it's actually quite warm sounding, and it's a lot louder. It's going to get over your cooking, and therefore, it's probably good to put in your kitchen. Uh, I've analysed it to some degree using a microphone and my computer, so we can find out exactly what these things are doing to our ears, uh, scientifically speaking. Uh, let's check it out. So up first is the Echo Dot original, and it sounds like poo-poo! Uh, directly behind me is a graph which is telling you exactly why your ears are hearing poo-poo, and you can see it drops off around the 100 hertz mark. Guess where all the warmth is supposed to be? The kick drum and bass guitar is just flat and lifeless, or not there at all. Uh, we're going to freeze it there, and we're going to move on to the new Echo speaker, and you can see the green area showing you where all that warmth is returned. Uh, this is the reason why this speaker sounds a lot more pleasant to the human ear, because we can hear all that warmth, it's nicer. Uh, further up the food chain you can see the hi-hats and cymbals cutting through as well, which shows this has been given a more poppy EQ curve, so this speaker is going to be better for pop music than anything else. For a laugh, here is the Google Home. Uh, all of the bass! There's like nothing but bass, it's strange. Um, I'm personally not overly impressed with the Google Home sound, I find it to be a little bit over the top in Just tell us whether to buy it or not, you jerk! Uh, basically, it depends. If you're gonna buy this for your kitchen, or your dining room, or maybe your bedside table to act as a little alarm clock, then it's perfect. It's actually a billion times better than the previous speaker, and I'm not sure I dare say it, but... It gives my Google Home a run for its money. I'm sorry, Google Home users, please stop throwing things at your monitor, but the Google Home is so overpowering in the bass, it sounds like it was made by hip-hop artists. Uh, this thing has a much more balanced sound to it, and I'm not sure I might even prefer this. I'm sorry. Uh, the upshot of all of this is, they're all rubbish, as far as I'm concerned. If you want to listen to good music, I suggest that you either use the little auxiliary output on this, or Bluetooth it to a good set of speakers, or in fact just buy an Echo input and plug that into a good set of speakers. If, on the other hand, you're looking for an alarm clock, perfect. Get this. That's it for this week, uh, thank you to these knights in shining armour who made this video possible, these guys are my patrons. If you want to help do this, you can join me on Patreon, uh, or in fact just do a one-off payment via PayPal, and I will love you forever whichever one you do. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, if you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button, and of course you can come and hang out with me on social media, I'll see you next time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, computer in here that connects it to the internet and ultimately to her in the cloud. <laughs> it has computery things in it, uh, which collects it, collects it, collects it to the internet. Well, it turns out less is sometimes more, so let's see about that. <laughs> and then I'm going to see which one of these responds when under duress. Not address. <laughs> Speaker quality! I... Uh, how do I? Hit that subscribe button, and if you want to hang a hang a hang a... Hang a, hang a, hang a, hang a. <laughs>